Hello and welcome to another Performance TV presented by Top Coat. We're back in the Performance TV garage with another great show for you. High performance of all kinds, starting off with a very vital piece of the engine. Joining us from Total Seal, Lake Speed Jr. And before we talk parts, let's talk names. Lake Speed, there's not too many of those out there. Not too many. My dad, as you probably know, is a famous NASCAR driver who raced from 1980 through 1998. And Maybe more importantly, in 1978, he beat some guy named Ayrton Senna for the World Go-Karting Champion. And so you have lived a life in motorsports, devoted a whole lot of time to internal engine tribology. What is that? So tribology is the study of friction, wear, and lubrication. And a piston ring is one of the few components in an engine that actually sees all three stages of lubrication in every single cycle of an engine. So a piston ring is really low-hanging fruit when it comes to performance in an engine. It's really a great way to gain a lot of power without a lot of effort, not a lot of money either. For example, a shelf piston is pretty easy to get. They typically cost less money and you can upgrade the performance of that custom piston just by putting in a high quality ring package. I know there's gas porting on a piston and that's something some people might want. You guys are using that technology in the rings. How does that work? A gas ported piston ring puts the gas ports in the ring as opposed to the piston. You've got combustion pressures of over 1500 PSI above the piston trying to get past the rings. Its job is to keep the combustion pressures above the piston so it can move the piston and then keep the motor oil below the piston so the two don't get together. So the idea of a gas port is to use that combustion pressure to force the ring out, to seal the ring against the cylinder wall. That way that combustion gas can't get by and the motor oil can't get up. So usually you can get a gas ported ring along with a shelf piston for less money than a custom piston. Now, not to say custom pistons aren't a good idea in certain applications. Obviously, NHRA Pro Stock, NASCAR, those are custom pistons because then you're going to use the really thin rings, like 0.5 millimeter ring versus, say, a 1.5 millimeter ring, which is pretty stock, you know, in a production engine today. That much thinner ring is like a thinner file or a narrower ski or thinner tire less rolling resistance, less friction. So to make the most power, you need that thin, thin ring. To do that, you typically need to have a custom piston to get the super thin ring. Although, I say that, we do make spacers that you can put in to the shelf piston because typically the shelf piston is gonna come with like a 5 64th or a 16th inch ring groove, pretty big ring. With a spacer, you can now go to a thinner, say, a 0.8 millimeter ring, not the super thinnest for the most, most power, but still a lot thinner than, say, a 1.5 millimeter ring. You can see significant, when I say significant, I mean over 10 horsepower. Just yesterday, we had a customer call us up. They had tried some gas ported rings, 043 gas ported rings and a standard piston, 22 horsepower because we've got guys building LSs and Coyotes. They want to make a lot of power, but not necessarily cutting edge power. They don't want to be on the ragged edge. They want to have reliability and still make power. You're using racing technology to help them achieve that. Exactly. I mean, the idea of gas porting has been around since the 70s. I mean, I think Gruffy Jenkins is the guy they attributed it to years and years ago. So gas porting isn't new, but a gas ported ring is something we've been doing at Total Seal for our professional teams for several years now. So it's proven technology because one of the downsides to gas ports is they tend to get dirty over time just because there's combustion buildup. Well, when that happens, it's like turning the faucet off, right? You're using that gas pressure to help increase the seal. That's what makes it work better. But if the gas ports get dirty, it's like turning off that faucet. Now you're not getting the pressure, the performance isn't there. Well, two ways you can solve that with a gas ported ring. One, the gas ported ring is always touching the cylinder wall and always moving, so it's self-cleaning. Number two, being, like you said, a tribologist, you know, I'm a chemical engineer trained, you know, kind of guy. Well, pistons are made out of aluminum. The detergents in the oil don't work on aluminum, but they do work on steel, 
which your piston rings are made out of. And there you have it. Racing technology available for your car. You might not even have to get a custom piston to maximize your power. For more information, check out their website. There's a whole lot going on there. We'll be back with more Performance TV presented by Topcoat after this. The late Irving Gordon holds the world record for the most miles driven in a personal car. He bought a Volvo 1800S brand new in 1966. The high school science teacher spent nearly a year's pay on the car, but he got his money's worth. He hit the million mile mark in the late 1980s. And in 2013, Gordon surpassed 3.4 million miles. More Performance TV still to come. Performance TV presented by Topcoat is brought to you by rockauto.com. All the parts your car will ever need. Borla, the world's most winning exhaust. Stealth Performance Products, providing diesel performance solutions. Navitas Vehicle Systems, electric vehicle systems through intelligent technology. And by Topcoat, the best coatings in the world. Welcome back to Performance TV presented by Topcoat. Some machines are so striking the first time around, they deserve new life. And that's exactly what the guys at Black Bridge Motors have done with this Land Rover Defender 90. Scott, tell us about the car, and more importantly, tell us about the company. Thank you for having us. So at Black Bridge Motors, our motto is to build better machines. Our focus is getting people back into these vintage and classic automobiles in a modern, capable, fun way. So we start with the individual uh, consumer and we try to engineer out some of the issues that you've you've experienced in the past with older technology older machines and older mechanicals so one of the things we really try to do is get the individual out from underneath the hood off the side of the road back into the driver's seat and the way we do that is taking a holistic approach to what these machines really need to be solved for and that's what you have done. I noticed the interior, you've really gone high level with that so that you can bring your family out, you can enjoy it uh, in a group. Yeah, absolutely. One of the things we try to focus on is the interior. You live inside of these cars for a large part of the time that you're using them. So it's an important facet of the vehicles. And you know, this particular build, uh, the customer is very involved in picking the stitching and the fabric and the color and being integrating the inside with the outside aesthetics. So it's a, it's a really nice process to go through, but when you have the interior match the capabilities of the exterior and the whole package comes together nicely, it's a really, really great experience for our customers. And you're making a run of these, so if someone sees it, they can get one. That's correct. So every year we're going to be releasing a new make and model. Uh, we're producing 10 of these individual Land Rover Defenders for 2020, so you know we can have this product delivered to you in this exact configuration or in any configuration you'd like. We're going to find out a little bit more with the lead tech on the project, Stan. It's got to be so exciting to go to work every day. Oh, it sure is. I mean, we are fortunate to be able to build these machines. Um, and this particular machine where we started off in the front with the V8 Chevy engine, which is an LS3, 430 horsepower. This vehicle comes with a 24,000 mile warranty, bulletproof for the customer. It's also made it up against a 6L80 transmission. So that's a six speed automatic transmission, which the customer just pushes a button to get it into park, drive and reverse. Also, this is a four-wheel drive capable vehicle, so there's a transfer case made it to that. And this entire drive line has been set and dialed in, so it drives like a modern vehicle, whether you're at highway speeds or you're taking it off-road. And that's sometimes one of the shortcomings of the old school, new school situation, like getting the brakes and the engine drive line combination to feel modern together. What we do is we use a hydraulically assisted braking system. So now that drive by wire, which you have with a modern engine, is paired with a modern braking system. So that feel that the customer has really is when they hop in this vintage vehicle, it's completely modern. In terms of balance, like a lot of people will drop an LS in a lot of things, but if they don't take the time to make sure everything is perfect, it doesn't come out right, you guys have. To be honest with you, we've done enough of these where I actually have a jig set up so we can set these engines right where they have to be. Of course, the drive line angles are set custom to each vehicle as we do it. But it, making sure the car doesn't rattle, you don't have any excessive noises going down the road is a huge part of our job at the end. That's quality control that we do with all the vehicles that come down the line. I want to drive it. Are we going to get to do that? Yeah, let's roll. I am excited. Just like that, we're going to be out on the roads in this Defender 90 LS Power. We're going to test it out. But first, you check out this. Time now for the lowdown with Magic Creeper. 
The Magic Creeper has so many different uses. Joe, we've seen it used on the ground, obviously, as a creeper. We, we don't have to worry about rolling wheels, getting stuck, rolling, trying to roll over tools, but it's also good for big items. Absolutely. You got something really heavy, you're by yourself, you need to move it, whether it be across the floor or out of the bed of the truck. You don't want to accidentally hurt yourself, so you use this as a tool to move something heavy. And this tire in the back of our Ford pickup truck is just an example. It's in the back. I could go wrestle with it, or I could just put it on the Magic Creeper, right? reach in and slide it super easily. It's gonna change the game. You know, as we all get a little bit older, injuries happen easier. It's nice to have something to help you out along the way. Absolutely, I can think about, you know, using this to go pick up mulch and all kinds of stuff, you know, doing landscaping and just being able to throw it on there, move it right around, be able to get it out easier. And if it does get dirty, the Magic Creeper cleans up very easily. It cleans very easily and it's very tough too. We have attacked this thing with all kinds of tools, trying to damage it. And it stands up to uh, the tough punishment Kathy Fisher and myself can dish out. You know, of all the things we talk about on Performance TV, Magic Creeper, I get so many questions about it. Is it really as good as you say? Does it work as well as you say? And it absolutely does, whether getting underneath the vehicle, giving us that extra ground clearance, or moving right. something heavy. That's right. It's such an easy idea, simple idea that does so many great things. And if you do think about getting a Magic Creeper, you want to make sure that it is the original original. So go to their website at magiccreeper.com. Scott, out here on the road, I can already feel this thing is tight. That's what I like about it. You've taken an old machine, you've revamped it, repackaged it, new technology, and it feels like something I'd get at the dealership. Yeah, thank you. That's one of the less talked about benefits of a newer car is the fact that everything feels like it, it belongs together and we take a lot of uh, a lot of pride and a lot of time to figure out some solutions to do that to an older car is everything from sound deadening to proper equipment and then just thoughtful integration of all those components to really give you a tight firm feeling ride i love the look of the defender obviously sitting up high i really feel like it would tackle the trails very well but in the end, I got an LS3 under my foot also, so I've got all those capabilities, a lot of power, and it's reliable power. Really, using the, the GM LS3 is a great power plant, but it gives this car capabilities that it didn't necessarily come with from the factory, which is really cool because now it's usable on-road, off-road, really in any configuration of manner you want. The creature comforts, the dash, the look, the command center here for the driveline and transmission, just super modern and someplace I'd want to be. You guys have uh, outdone yourselves. This is really a nice machine. And if you guys like this at home, I know you will. You've got to check out their website. They've got something really special right here with this Defender. We've got more Performance TV presented by Tomco coming up after this. I love this thing. Okay, Performance TV fans, time to test your automotive IQ. General Motors performed the first automotive crash test way back in 1934. When did the federal government begin publishing the results of their crash testing? Was it 1940, 1955, 1968, or 1979? If you guessed 1979, you know your stuff. Keep it right here for more Performance TV. Performance TV coming from Borla Commerce Park. Welcome back to Performance TV presented by Topcoat. There's one thing we know about Jeep folks, so they love to personalize their Jeeps and they love to hit the trails as well. The problem is when you hit the trail in a brand new Jeep, you could scratch it all up and all of a sudden it's not new anymore. And that's the dilemma that the owner of Meek Magnet found herself in in 2016. Brand new Jeep, friends out on the trail, bought all the gear and then realized, hey, the brush is gonna damage my Jeep. What to do? And so she invented Jeep Body Armor. It's incredible because it protects the paint and allows total personalization. They have six graphic artists on site that can customize any design that you may have. But first, what is it? Well, it's a magnet, so it will stick to a steel Jeep body. Now you might be thinking, well, what about the aluminum Jeeps? They've got a gel membrane that will stick right on an aluminum Jeep as well. So before you hit the trails, you apply your Jeep armor, and then you head on out. And all those brushes and sticks, maybe you kick a rock, are no longer going to damage the paint on your Jeep. And at the same time, whatever your dream, the art could be the Rocky Mountains, could be anything you have in your mind, can be on the side of your Jeep. 
and that goes right to the heart of the jeeping subculture. Now what about the material? 30 mil magnet. So you know that is going to give you a lot of protection. There's also a 3 mil gel membrane. So you apply it and you can actually leave it on there for quite some time. But after you do go jeeping and you're out there in the dust and on the trails, you're going to want to remove the magnet and wipe them off. What you can do, reapply them or put it right back on the package, store it rolled up, and it's ready for the next time you head out. It's an absolutely ingenious design, and it is a problem-solving product. You want to keep your paint new, you want to keep your Jeep nice, you want to be out there with your Gladiator or your Wrangler hanging out with your friends, while at the same time protecting your investment. There's not too many products that serve two functions so well. It's armor, but it looks awesome. And it is all up to you what kind of design you're going to have on your Jeep. You could put a photo of your Jeep on your Jeep. You and your family, you could do anything, and that's what I love. They allow you to be so creative. And what we have already seen is that the magnets go on and come off rapidly. Aluminum body panels are not going to stop you thanks to their gel membrane. And this is one of the products that comes from necessity being the mother of invention. You've been out on the trails, you're going through the brush, you're not damaging your vehicle, and you're keeping things as new and shiny and perfect as possible. The one thing that was going to keep you off the trails is now the reason to hit the trails. You've got the coolest Jeep with your own design and you are fully protected whether you're steel or aluminum. They've got a great product. You've got to check out the website. Head to meekmagnet.com. We'll be back with more Performance TV presented by Top Coat after this. There are about 327 million people in the United States and 67% of them have driver's licenses. Which state has the most licensed drivers per capita? We can tell you it's not New York. Only 59% of New Yorkers drive. At 88%, Vermont has the most licensed drivers per capita. Performance TV, presented by Topcoat, is brought to you by Stage 8 Fasteners, home of the world's best locking hitter bolt. Locking kits now available for all turbo applications. Go to stage8.com. Custom Auto Sound, the originator of classic car OEM bit radio since 1977. SNW Race Cars and Components, for racers, by racers. Engine Swap Supply, tackle your projects with confidence. And by Magic Creeper, the most versatile creeper ever. Welcome back to Performance TV. On this show, we see all kinds of great products. And my favorite are the simple products that solve common problems. Like you're in your truck, you've got a load of things, you can't get them wet, they're blowing in the wind. What are you going to do? Tie it down with a tarp, cover it up with a blanket? No way. The guys from Better Covers are in the house. And Mike, you have solved this problem. I sure have. So Better Covers are just a quick and easy way to, to cover a truckload that actually work and keep your load safe and dry. And this is very interesting in that it is so simple. The idea, you buy it and you stick it behind your seat and then the opportunity that occurs, you just bought some new furniture, you just went by a box store, getting some concrete, all of a sudden it's going to rain, that's when you break it out. Talk a little bit about how it came together and what it is. So I wanted something that anybody could use, right? Apply it anywhere and quickly. So I also wanted something that you didn't have to be a permanent solution. I think tonneau covers are great, but you can't fit an oversized load in them and they're not flexible as far as scale goes. So I wanted something that was scalable. This comes in a 36 inch roll. There's 40 feet on a roll and you just unroll as much as you need. So any size truck, any size load. So you and your wife, Sheila, earlier today went through the process of covering this bed. It took just a couple of seconds. It's something you could do pretty rapidly, and it looks very secure. Yeah, it stays on at highway speeds plus. Uh, I've tested it myself for days, gone for week-long trips with it on there, and it stays on. You can even pull up the back, let down the cover, pull some things out like your suitcase or whatever, put it back up, reseal it, and keep going. Simple solution, but also recyclable. I'm big on recycling plastics. That's a huge thing in my life, so I didn't want to make a product that wasn't recyclable. So every grocery store has thin film recycling. You can just take it there. There's something else that's important to you as well. What is it? That it comes off clean and easy and that it's made in the USA. The wedges, how do they fit in? Right, so one of the things I found when I was testing this is there's a lot of lift right behind the cab of the truck. So I put these in and you just wedge it in there behind the cab and the bed just to hold it down. 
a simple solution for a common problem and you're going to solve another one. Am I right? I'm never going to see the plastic garbage bag covering someone's window ever again. I'm sad. I uh, know. Well, so what I found was when I was using this, it's almost like duct tape that there's a thousand uses for it. And one of them that came to mind right away was a broken window cover. Right now, all there are trash bags and duct tape. So we came up with the same product in clear, 18 inches. Again, you just unroll it, put it on the window, covers it up. It's a temporary solution, of course, but it stays on at highway speeds and keeps the rain out. And it's a lot better looking than a trash bag. Absolutely. You have gone a long way. Simple idea with a mainstream effect. There are so many opportunities to put something in the bed, something expensive. And if you're from somewhere like I am, the state of Florida, from one minute to the next, it can be raining. And so you guys have solved the problem. Now, how long does it last if you were to leave it on? So I've left it on up to a week in the Florida heat and it has no problem staying on. We had one guy drive, it was over 2,000 miles, so uh, several days, you know, going down the highway, highway speeds, and it stays on no problem. Does the vehicle have to be like immaculately clean for it to <laughs> no, stick? Not at all. Just take a rag and make sure there's not a lot of dust because it's just sticking onto the clear coat. And so how many loads would you say one roll? So this is 40 feet on a roll. I have a short bed and for this installation, we probably used 25 feet, something like that. I could have probably put less on there. So it depends on the size of the load that you have and the size of your bed, but you, you may be able to get two out of that. I put 40 feet on there to make sure every truck, every load is covered. You guys were able to cover that load pretty rapidly, but there are two of you. If you were by yourself, is there a technique? Yes, uh, climbing. It is easier with two people, but once you see the install, you start from the back and move forward. So when the wind's rushing over it, it's like a shingle, right? It's, it's flowing over the top. So when you start in the back, it's easy enough to just, as long as you can get in your bed and pull that thing over, it looks like plastic wrap. Well, Mike, you have blown my mind. Another great product. I'm so sad I might not see tarps flapping in the breeze anymore on the highway, especially those windows as well. For more information, you got to check out their website. They've got a great product. And if you have a great product, you can hit up Jeff at masterstv.com and maybe you'll end up on Performance TV. In the meantime, check out our Facebook page. Lots of great stuff on there. And we'll see you next time right here on Performance TV.